fine. And let's start with basic terminology, abbreviations and few important concepts. Some of this will differ from book to book, but the basis is the same. Let's draw four simple diagrams, which will represent the same scenario, write some terms so that we could get familiar with them. First one would be from the top. Like this. The second one basically is the same thing, but from the side. One more, it's kind of three-quarter view. And the last one is basically how we're going to see that uh, through the picture plane. <clears throat> well, the point from where the observer is looking is called station point or point of view. We could find it here. And basically, it's the point in space representing the eye of observer or a camera. Let's draw a simple camera. Station point here. And station point here. We don't see station point on this diagram. Line of sight representing the direction and the angle of sight. Line of sight here line of sight here and line of sight here. Picture plane, imaginary plane between observer and an object. You could imagine that it's like flat piece of glass that is perpendicular to the line of sight. We could see picture plane here. This is actually picture plane. We could see picture plane here. Center of vision is a point where line of sight intersects picture plane. We could find it here, center of vision. We could find it here, center of vision. Uh, we would see it on the drawing and even here. Also, we will use a distance between the observer and picture plane, uh, this distance. We could see it here too. Distance. We can find it here. Distance. And um, height of station point. This is our height. And we could translate it uh, to the left drawing like this. And wh why we could do this? Because this one is really is this one that is uh, rotated like this. So we have our height and our distance. So bas basically it's height and a distance here. Next thing is kind of vision or field of view or angle of view is the extent of the observable world that is seen uh, either by the eye or a camera measured in degrees. It considered that uh, 50 to 60 degrees is most uh, natural looking. So it could be like this. We could see it here and we could see it here. Next thing is horizon line. In one and two point perspective, it usually represents the eye level of the observer and line between sky and the ground or sea. This one is horizon line. We could see it sorry, here. horizon line. We could find it here. 
So the next thing is probably most important thing, vanishing points is point where parallel line converge in perspective. We will discuss it uh, more deeply in next lessons, but now I just want to point that out. Vanishing point, vanishing point. Uh, some vanishing points uh, could be, sorry, uh, could be out of a uh, picture plane. Actually, it's good if they are out because you will get uh, less distortion. One more here. And the last one, measuring point. Uh, measuring point we will use um, and we'll discuss how to use them in next lessons for situations where you want to do accurate drawing and preserve um, the relationships between width and height of an object. So what we got so far? We have station point, we have line of sight, we have picture plane, height of station point, distance, center of vision, cone of vision, horizon line, vanishing points, measuring points, and we will add to it while progressing uh, through the course. But now I want to share with you uh, some th three basic ideas in drawing in perspective and um, in from imagination. Well, first is boxes. Some of you may wonder uh, why he's always drawing a box. Uh, I want to see, I, I want to learn how to draw cars and environments and pretty girls and stuff like that. But uh, really, idea is simple. The box is very simple three-dimensional form and it shows us how the object is orient oriented in the space. So if I draw a box like this, you already know that uh, you are higher than this box or you look at this from above. Or if I draw a box like this, you know that you see the box from below or you are standing lower than this box. And if you want to draw, let's say, a car, it uh, really, um, you could draw it in any position if you know how to draw a box. Let's say we could have a toy car. And the same toy car we could have here, like this, like this, like this. Okay, the next idea is idea of drawing through. Um, Drawing through. Drawing through meaning that uh, you not just drawing box like this, it's with its external corners, but you draw internal corners so that you could see it transparent like uh, like wire wireframe in 3D program. Like this, like this. So it could be very useful. For example, uh, let's let's draw an iron. Uh, iron has a curved shape at the bottom, like this, like this. And uh, even though uh, after drawing, after finishing a drawing, we will not see this line, this one. But it's important to understand the form better, so you will draw it properly. And um, you even will not see it, for example, even if you draw something that will be not seen in final rendering, say like this. Uh, it's very important to draw it because it helps you to understand form. 
So let's connect this to the wall so it will be it will do his job. So and the last thing I want to tell you is start loose. I don't want you to cut up in all this uh, perspective rules. Um, one thing, um, one of my best her heroes of all times, Glenn Vilpe, always says there are no rules, just tools. So I encourage you to use perspective just like uh, just as a tool. For example, uh, for me, most important thing in drawing is um, or in painting is composition. So you could start with your thumbnails and uh, think your composition, think where you're gonna put something or okay I want a guy standing here and something like here, something going on, maybe floor here and after that that you like your composition, how you crop it, uh, you could go and say okay, okay, mm, I want this guy standing here, this guy here, where will be my horizon line? Oh my horizon line would be here so okay it's right in perspective uh, and I want one guy standing right here so where he's gonna be and using some uh, basic understanding of perspective could free you uh, to draw anything you want but please start loose well if you like that um, like this lesson uh, and if you are interested please subscribe uh, leave a comment below and thank you bye